Hey everybody, Eric Lean, and I wanted to talk with you about a uh, new extruder design that uh, was uh, designed by Martin Bondius. Um, met him uh, on the Google Plus channel here recently in 3D Printing Channel, and uh, he had uh, some questions for me about uh, a design, I think uh, my Core XY design. We started chatting, and uh, he showed me uh, an idea he had for a dual driven extruder design and as soon as I saw it I thought wow this thing's something you know pretty interesting I haven't seen anything like it so he shared the the files with me and uh, and we kind of talked through some items um, and then he actually sent me over the uh, the drive section of it kind of the the magic part of it the the bearings the gears the uh, uh, machined uh, dual hob setup and I've been using this for about uh, a few months now um, to be honest, this is probably the nicest addition I've put onto my printer here in quite some time. The reliability has been exceptional. I've had zero jams since I installed this. Uh, ABS, PLA, nylon, whatever I threw at it, ran through it exceptionally well. Uh, it speeds 150, 200, and 250 millimeters a second uh, travel speeds. So, um, and those are actual speeds. I run my uh, my acceleration on my printer uh, around 10,000. So, um, you know, when I when I put that speed in there, I'm fairly sure that I'm actually maintaining those speeds during a print, and I've had zero issues with this extruder being able to keep up. Um, I'm going to kind of walk around to the front here and show you a quick assembly on this thing, and then uh, uh, talk about it a little more. So it all kind of starts out here with this uh, 5.18 to 1 Planetary NEMA uh, 17. Uh, I've been using these for a while on my uh, uh, Hercustruder and some other you know, Air Tripper designs. And I really like these ones. You get really high resolution, really high force. Um, so it starts out with that. And then there's a, a back cover. Now this back cover just has two bolts retaining it uh, to the... Uh, to the planetary's uh, front section on this. So let's drop those in. And they're reset uh, into the, the back housing. And that has a, a purpose to allow these two alignment nubs on this section uh, to hold in there. And then we only need two bolts on the front section of this so the back half can stay on the uh, on the extruder while the uh, uh, front part is released for you know checking on this thing to be honest I haven't had to take it apart but if somebody wanted to um, they could so the uh, next is the hob section which drops right onto the eight millimeter shaft on the planetary NEMA And then uh, this section has a slotted area for adjustment in and out of the, uh, the bearing hob and gear section of the, the, the dual drive, the secondary drive portion of it. Then this part drops right down on top. Gets tightened in with the two screws. And the last thing to do is just set the tension against the uh, the secondary drive just to get engagement on the gear and just to kind of pinch around uh, the uh, uh, the filament on there. Probably want to set that uh, back one, the one that pinches onto the filament with your filament set in there. And you only have to just bite into it. You don't have to apply a ton of pressure. Um, so since I started using this, like I said, zero issues with any extrusion problems. Um, and to kind of give a little, a little proof that, you know, we've been working on this for a while. I think some of you guys saw my post on this. This is where I was uh, showing the difference I ran into between bang bang uh, control on my heated bed and PID. So this is actually the retention piece that allows me to mount this extruder 
to the frame and I can swivel it around then uh, in any direction that I want um, for mounting capabilities and just uh, an M5 to pinch that clamp closed. Um, you know we've been iterating on this design for quite some time now. Had uh, several different designs, some of them solid, you know, some of them with flanges on there and everything. And kind of the, the iteration that we're at right now is the one that you know I kind of feel is is the best so far. But uh, you can tell it's 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 not something that we just started working on. This has been kind of in motion for a while here, so. Um, I suggest you guys, if you're interested at all in this, uh, contact Martin. I know he's looking at getting, uh, you know, kits made up available of the machine section of this. You know, I, I think he's releasing this on you imagine the STL files for printing of this section. Um, but all in all, all I can say is that this is probably the best edition I've made on my printer in quite some time. And, uh, it's pretty close to being able to be uh, injection molded, this section of it, which may be able to make the kits uh, more affordable and easier to produce for people who don't have uh, printing capability that want to want to get these on their first printer. So anyway, wanted to thank you guys for your time. And like I said, hit up Martin. He's a really great guy and he's been a lot of fun to, to work with on this. And I really appreciate him letting me uh, be a part in the testing on this and throwing in my input here or there and so thanks very much Martin and thanks everybody for watching.